Hey guys and welcome! Today is going to be a video about how to properly handle your snake. How to properly handle your snake, that's it. And with me today I have a beautiful Bofur here. Bofur, he is my uh, ball python male. He's a pinstripe, as you may be able to see. He has this beautiful stripe around his back. And he's going to help me today show you how to properly handle your snake. It is a question that I do get quite often and today's video is actually a request uh, by someone who wanted to know how to do it properly. And before I start off showing it with Bofur, as you can see now, I'm just handle him quite uh, calmly right here. He's a little bit agitated, you might see his body is a bit tense, but he is definitely losing up now. His tongue is out, he's flickering and he's searching. But when I took him out just a few minutes ago, he was very, very tense. Before we start, I want to say that no matter the size of the snake, you actually handle them quite the same. It's the, the same kind of principles that you're using, whether the snake is very small or it's very big. Of course, you have to adjust a little bit because there is a big difference uh, of handling a baby corn snake and a big boa constrictor. Handling a snake can be quite the challenge for some people to do, especially if you're scared of them, because a lot of people, they really want to go for let go there. <laughs> because a lot of people when handling a snake, they really want to hold it tight, like they really want to, to grab onto it. I'm just gonna change the focus here just once. There we are. A lot of people when handling their snakes, they really want to grab tight onto the snake to make sure that they can hold him. Now, Bofur is being an extremely good boy here. He's not being annoyed with me doing it. But they really want to grab on tight. But that is actually the wrong way to handle a snake. The best way you can do it is to just give them support. You can see like I'm doing here, I can even hold Bofur with just one hand. Uh, because Bofur is still small, of course you cannot do this the same way with bigger snakes. Some people can, but I would advise to, to use both hands for safety. But as you can see, Bofur now he's just climbing on his own he's just exploring and and that also might be um challenging for some people because you, you can't really like hold it hold it because the snake will most likely constantly be moving of course if you have a snake that's very active like for example the corn snake or the california king snake or the mill snakes or even some bull pythons they will be very active when you're handling them now both for here he's pretty calm and how do i know that i know that because he is pretty chill in his body <laughs> as you can see his tongue is flickering he's out searching his neck is fully stretched and that is a pretty good sign of a snake being comfortable and and just be pretty chilling if the snake weren't comfortable if it was a little bit stressed you would see it tense up very much like it would clench your hand like both is doing it a little bit if I maybe if I see no he's pretty calm but sometimes <laughs> snakes they will they will curl up and they will clench your hands very very hard because they are they are a little bit stressed and they don't know where to go and if they're very stressed you will either see their neck really really tighten up into this S position like he's about to la uh, lash out on you uh, and that is the signs of a snake that's very uncomfortable with your handling. If they're not getting used to being handled they will try to get away from you like they will very actively try to <laughs> escape from you uh, and they might even musk on you and that is a scent that they kind of like they, they spray it on you and it smells very very badly. It's a defense mechanism uh, the snake can use. <laughs> if you are dealing with a snake that is musking uh, then I've heard, I haven't experienced the snake do it uh, to me, I've heard that you should just keep on training regularly, maybe once or twice a week for a very few minutes and in the end the snake uh, will get used to you handling it. Alright, so here are some basics about handling. It's a good idea to use support like this, use it in the middle of the body where the snake is the most heaviest. Don't uh, keep it up by the tail like this, don't let go of it like that because it can damage the spine. Don't cleanse the face, don't touch the face, now Bofa doesn't mind that much but in general most snakes don't like it and they actually do get a bit, um, a bit of, they stress out a bit from it. The reason why I do not advise you to poke their head or even boop the snoot even though you might want to is because that might provoke uh, an attack response from the snake and we surely don't want that and, and most snakes are very head shy and it's completely normal so if you have a snake that's head shy just leave it be like there's no absolutely no reason for you to touch the head or to stroke it on the head or anything like that if you really really need to get uh, to hold your snake on the head like if it's got something stuck in its mouth or something like that you can grab now i'm gonna see if i can show you you can like lightly grab and then right here did you see that yeah the snakes don't really like it and you have to be very careful to not push too hard because then you might damage the snake or the snake might damage yourself but you can hold it right here on top of the head like this 
because then it won't be able to bite. All right, sorry, Bofer. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Bofer, he's taking this very, very well. He is actually a very calm snake. He does tense up a little bit, but he's a very good snake. Now, I thought that maybe I should show you how to handle uh, another snake that is a bit more active. What do you say about that? Yeah, let's do that. Hang on. Now, here is an all-time favorite. This is Queenie. Oh, and Queenie. Let me see, I just need to go back a little. So Queenie, she's a corn snake and she's grown quite a lot. If you guys remember how she was in the beginning, she was so tiny. Anyway, Queenie is a corn snake and as you can see, she's way, way more active than the ball python. She is still pretty calm. She is searching around. You can see her tongue is flickering, uh, but, but she's still very, very calm in her body. Like she's not tense at all. The same principle goes with a snake like Queenie here, even one that's very active. Just make sure that you support Hey Queenie, just make sure that you support the body, don't clench it, don't pull it, don't anything, just support uh, the middle of the body and then let the snake explore on its own. Give it uh, support whenever you can and, and wherever it is. If it wants to move, you can even like do a motion like this. It's the other way around. I'm gonna see if I can show you. Let's see if I can get her to do this. It may look like it's being like very clumsy and that I can't hold on to the snake but I'm perfectly aware of where Queenie is and I'm giving her all the support that she needs. But again you can see I'm keeping it in the middle of the body making sure that she has support for her head and front and for her back here uh, while not clenching onto her but just letting her explore on her own. Queenie is also becoming like a pretty a pretty decent size like she's a she's an okay long snake. Oops if you compare her to the bull python and that also might be a challenge for something because that's quite a lot of snake you know to keep your eye on but same principle with her also notice how again my hands are very calm and steady and just letting her go wherever she wants to it is possible oh yeah you saw that some snakes can be a bit clumsy not hanging on to what they need to so you need to be aware of that right you see, she has plenty of room to move her front body and her head while I'm still supporting the rest. Ooh, Queenie, you're such a good snake. A lot of people buy them from when they're babies and they're very, very, very small. Uh, and in that age and up until they are a year or even more, they might be a bit difficult to handle because they are very small, they're very quick uh, and they really want to go out and explore and, 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 and they have... Um, they have a talent for really finding their way around. Even inside the terrarium, they will most likely always find a way out if there is a way out. But corn snakes, amazing. Can be a, a little bit of a challenge to, uh, to handle, as you can see. Queenie here, she just wants to go explore. All right, guys, that's all for today. <laughs> that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Queenie, come on. If you want to see more, you, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you did like the video, please leave a like. I call this a mustache. Really, Queenie. All right, guys. Thank you so much for now. And bye-bye. <laughs>